Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I've got an icon, true legend in the snake world. One that I haven't shown off on here much before due to certain reasons that hopefully I don't forget to mention during this video. But anyways, if you're new here, post videos on venomous snakes. If that's something you enjoy, please subscribe. But let's get to it. Let me show you what I have. None other than the forest cobra. Look at this snake. Now these are one of the hardest, these are have reputation for being one of the hardest cobra species to handle due to their wiry, nervous, and agile behavior. This one will flip over the hook and just fly all over the place. Now this one typically flips around over the hook, does all types of crazy stuff. It lives up to the reputation, although right now it's very calm. This is the most calm it's ever been. The other ones I've worked with in the past have been very calm. This one does live up to the reputation of crazy. Now going off what I said about the being difficult to handle, people have described them as being a mix of a cobra and a mamba. And I'd say that fits them quite well because of their, like I said, very alert. Mambas are also very alert, very nervous. Also the way that they wrap their tail around if you have your hand up higher same with the mambas they'll wrap their tail around your arm and then they have you too and if you don't know what to do in that situation if you don't do the right thing in that situation or remain calm that can be the difference from a disastrous situation and a successful one when the snake has its coiled around your wrist and it turns and looks at you just crawling and you start panicking now you might send it into that defense mode because these are nervous snakes so being able to react when things like that happen is very important now the forest cobra is the fourth largest venomous snake on earth the first being the king cobra Next, the black mamba. Third is the bushmaster. Fourth is the forest cobra. Now the forest cobra is also the longest of the true cobras. We've talked about this in the wrinkles video, but king cobra is not a true cobra. They're in their own genus, Ophiophagus while true cobras are in the genus Naja, which this one is Naja melanoleuca. And these get up to 10 feet long, massive. So world's largest true cobra. I said this is Naja melanoleuca. At one point there was just one species. Now, due to genetic testing, they're classified, the forest cobras are classified under five separate species. Now I don't know all of them by off the top of my head, so I'm gonna list them here. Like I said, this is Naja melanoleuca, the black forest cobra. Now these are found in central to western Africa. The type of habitat they're in is forested areas, but like many cobra species, they, they are highly adaptive and can thrive even in human disturbed habitat, human disturbed environments. Now this is a terrestrial species, but they're excellent climbers and have been found in trees very high up. So when they're escaping a predator, let's say, they'll climb up a tree very quickly. They're also considered semi-aquatic in some parts. Now, they have strong neurotoxic venom and they have a wide variety of prey. So they'll eat amphibians, mammals, birds, 
other reptiles, like other snakes even. So they have a wide variety of diets. And like other true cobras, they're egg layers. And something special about the forest cobra, we're gonna look at this tail. They have a specialized scale that looks like a little dagger. Let's see if you can see it in the video. And what they do with this is let's say the males are competing, for instance. They'll poke each other with that tail to make the other one think that they've been bitten. And look, it even does it to things that are bothering it, like me, whoever's bothering it. As you can see, it's poking me with it. So the goal is to make whatever's messing with it think that it's been bitten and will hopefully let go. Now about this specific cobra and why I don't show it often. Now I got it at a reptile show. And during that show, I was super excited when I saw this. It was very cheap and didn't look it over well enough. And then when I got it home, I realized it was deathly skinny. So I should have known something was up with the cheap price. But anyways, that's something to consider. Make sure you, you put your excitement aside and make sure you check the animal over. Now this snake has been eating for me. It's regurgitated once, but it's been eating all other times. It's still on the skinny side, I would say, but it is putting on weight and I'm excited for it to continue to thrive and do better. And actually this snake, like I said, lives up to the forest cobra reputation. Right now, this is the best it's been, I would say. Usually it's flinging over the hook, just panicked and acting insane, but it's doing well right now. Who knows, maybe it'll stay that way. Awesome snake, the forest cobra. This is a true legend and icon in the snake world. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on the beautiful and awesome iconic forest cobra. The fourth largest venomous snake on earth the most, the longest of the true cobras, forest cobra. So cool. Subscribe if you're new. Love you all. Take care.